it's time to do, 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 do Duelist 2. All right, let's go. So we are back with another Duelist 2 network test weekend. I started a couple of days ago, and I haven't had a chance to crack into it until now, basically. Um, I spent the last, well, I built about seven or eight decks while I have some lunch. I think most of them are a bit bad, <laughs> or at least sketchy, but uh, let's experiment with some stuff. Last time, so they haven't changed very much between the last network test and this one. We are, as a reminder, still in two draw land. Um, namely, you draw two cards at the end of each turn, you start with three in your opening hand. Um, so that incentivizes, you know, lower curves. There are no blood bond spells. Uh, general differences are purely cosmetic. Um, and we are back to a sort of modified, adapted, cleaned up version of patch, was it 0 0.60? I think during the beta before Duelist even fully launched. Um, last time I tried kind of a bunch of what I would consider level 1 decks. I built a bunch of really aggressive decks mostly. Sorry, my glasses are filthy. Um, I built Magmar with Mind Steel. I built Burn High with just like 18 cards that say deal 3 to your opponent's face. Uh, I built Agro Abyssian. That was very good. Um, and I seem to remember Abyssian did the best uh, out of all the factions. I built Heal Lionar, which did remarkably well. Um, oh, and I built Creep Abyss, which also did okay. Sorry, I built Creep Not Aggressive. That was it. Don't know why I didn't scroll down earlier and actually look. Um, this time around, we have, uh, in no particular order, um, Araki Headhunter Aggro, Weapon Magmar with Artifacts, uh, Swarm, Swarm Abyss, I think it's not very good, we'll see. Uh, Backstab High, Divine Bond, um, somewhat unwillingly. Arcanist Vanar, um, Board Flood Vitruvian, which with also some Arcanist stuff, and then Owl Punch. Um, this was a deck from before, just Aggro Vitruvian. Um, and that's it. I'm gonna, excuse me, I'm gonna start off with one at the top, why not? I'll go through each one. Um, ideally, I'll try and make a video for all of these decks, or maybe more that I come up with over the next couple days. Um, the network test continues until the 6th, so I have two days basically, so I might not be able to do everything, but we'll see how it goes. Um, if you have, if you see this video on, you know, still during the test, and there's anything you'd really like me to check out, post it in the comments and I might get around to it if I have time, no promises, but um, I'm interested in seeing other people's ideas. Because most of mine start with, you know, make the curve really low and we'll see. Um, so this was, I noticed Araki Headhunter, which is a card I failed to experiment with last time, but seems very, very good in a really aggressive meta. Um, and I also, I think Prophet of the White Palm is really good right now. Um, it's two draw, so playing a one drop is not only fine, but actively advantageous. Uh, and we are also in the faction with Right of the Undervolt at three mana. If you look at this mana curve, uh, we have nothing that costs more than three in this deck. It's all cheap. Bodies, cheap removal, cheap life swing cards, uh, and that's basically it. We do have a couple of finishes. We have a Soul Grimoire, uh, which is pretty good if you have a bunch of crap in play and can just trade it off. Um, we have a good amount of removal in the sense that... So, despite the lack of... Despite the fact that large minions are kind of disincentivized by 2-draw and they're quite punishable, a lot of people still playing Iron Cliff Guardian. Um, Divine Bond is a relatively popular archetype. Um, Lion Eye is probably the most popular uh, faction, or at least was last time. And my very brief testing this morning uh, does nothing to dissuade me of the notion. A lot of Lion Eye. So, um, one of the reasons Abyss is so good is they have tons of ways to punish Iron Cliff Guardians. Um, so, you have Demonic Lure, um, you have Night Sorrow Assassin, which is probably the best anti. Um, Ironcliff card in the game. You have Ritual Banishing, which isn't in this deck, but is good in Swarmia decks. Um, you have Repulsive Beast, obviously it's a neutral card, but it fits pretty well in decks like this. And then you have Rights of the Undervolt to draw more cards, so you can keep doing it. Very, very strong. Um, if you are playing Lionar, by the way, put Magnetize in your deck. It's so good. Magnetize is amazing in general, but especially in 2-draw, where, you know, 
If he doesn't do anything for a few turns, that's fine. Um, and you're not losing out by just playing like a cheap interactive spell in your deck. So onto the, the rest of this list. Um, like I said, most of it is just cheap opening Gambit minions, but we've got two Grasp of Agony, um, two Demonic Lure, just go through the interaction sweep for a second, three Nightstar Assassin, two Repulsor Beast as our removal of choice, backed up by two Ephemeral Shrouds for Dispel. Um, I think Dispel is really useful um, in this matter. Uh, we have Right to the Underworld is like, this is the, you know, stepping on the accelerator kind of card. Right to the Underworld at three mana is absolutely absurd. Um, they, you can play, well, as you can see here, it's a very, very low curve decks and just reload for free. This card is, you know, three mana draw four, three mana draw five. Um, absolutely unreasonable card. We have Soul Grimoire. This is like a way to turn a bunch of two threes into a thing that can actually win a game. We have a lot of tempo tools with all the removal. Um... But it's still a little difficult to actually kill people, you know, if the game goes beyond about turn five. Um, Soul Grimoire helps with that in that we will often have a bunch of crap in play, and we can turn that into, you know, plus 10 damage on the general by trading off uh, in order to kill something big or ideally hit them in the face until they fall over. In terms of the actual minions, I've just basically put in a bunch of the, you know, the most efficient cheap opening gambits I could find. We have six one drop minions more um i wrote this card off initially um it's one one or two one opening gambit deal two damage to a nearby ally against, ally against plus two plus seven so it's a, a one one or four one but you have to hit something poncho mango pointed out to me that a uh, this card can hit your general so you can just take two and have a four one um and b uh, there's no one there aren't pings like there's no cast of a bbs blood tier alchemist costs two mana so no one plays it there's no scorn um there are very few, there's like people having Tempest and Ghost Lightning, but that's about it. Um, very few ways to really punish slapping yourself in the face and playing a 4 1. So this card is quite good, uh, I'm told. Um, Prophet of the White Palm, like I said, I think this card is fantastic and it does help against those AoE punishes because there aren't minions that do it in this version of Duelist. There's just spells. Um, so if your opponent is relying on Tempest, you can tempo them out by slapping this down at the end of your turn. Um, it is something to be aware of is it does affect their stuff and it does affect it does take effect immediately so it turns off Grasp of Agony and to a lesser extent Void Pulse uh, so if you're going to play those cards as well play them first um, we have the Headhunter this is the signature card of the deck uh, it gets plus 2 plus 0 whenever you play a minion with opening gambit uh, almost all our minions have opening gambit so it gets huge Blood Siren uh, this allows us to hit the opponent in the face without taking attrition damage on our minions very 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 strong aggro card uh, because, you know, people can... If you're surrounded by small minions and duelists, you think, oh, well, you know, th at least they trade off if they try and hit my stuff, or if they hit my face, you know, their things will die. Not with Blood Siren, you can hit them for 10 or more and uh, keep going. So, Blood Siren is a secretly quite strong card. Uh, two Shroud I mentioned earlier, this is just a helpful interactive tool. Gloom Chaser? Gloom Chaser kind of sucks, maybe there should be something else, but... Um, I think two bodies in a deck with Soul Grimoire... And Primus Fist is kind of useful. Um, and it is just another cheap opening gambit. It's quite good with, like, in a pinch you can maul the token. Um, and you can protect it with profit so it doesn't get punished by AoEs. And then we've got Healing Mystic, Primus Fist, Total Staples. Primus Fist is especially good here. Um, Healing Mystic helps offset more damage or us hitting them in the face. Uh, and then we've just got some cards we've covered already. We've got our removal spells, basically, at 3 mana. Our reload and our over the top card. And that's it. So let's try and hunt some heads on the ladder for a bit. Um, I have, of course, I threw this deck together today. Um, it is, I've, I've played all these decks once each <laughs> as a <laughs> rough play test. Okay, uh, well we got turn one four, which is pretty good. Um, Shroud is okay. Definitely want Demonic Lure. Um, this is just useful in general against Lionel. Okay, cool. So we get to play two things on the first turn. Although I could replace this looking for Headhunter. Helm of Mechazor. Okay. Interesting. So I can play... I can I can go here and then play my 4-1 and then the Gloom Chaser down there and just pressure two Monotiles. It's pretty hard for them to take everything. Um... 
Maybe I will replace this. It would be really good to hit an Araki or a slightly better minion than Gloom Chaser. Even though a Demonic Lure is really good for later. Uh, you know what? I'm going to keep the Primus first because Gloom Chaser is really strong. This does kind of suck against Tempest, but it's still a 2 for 2, so it's not that bad. Oh, this is cool. So it's in it's this is an easy range to trade with this, but they still can't hit it. That was good. Shroud is nice. We can dispel a Mechazor minion to kind of tempo them a little bit. Especially if they play a big one. They do have Tempest. Well, that sucks. I can't kill that either. I can dispel it, but... Uh... Okay, well, right is good. I, I guess I'll just play that. We're going to mill two cards, but it's still better than not doing it. Okay. So we might, we might get Holy Immolation here. If so, it's not too bad because it takes their entire turn, but this obviously isn't great for us. I really wasn't expecting Tempest there out of Mechazor. I guess people are just playing it because it is a thing. I definitely... Tempest is like... I, I seem to remember from like the past that I saw Tempest in a lot of decks that kind of shouldn't air quotes have it. You know what I mean? Like it's it's the sort of card where it's not great in a lot of Lionel decks that want to flood the board themselves, but people play it because like either as a tech card or because um, you know, it's just there. It's just kind of good. Um, Araki is kind of bad here, but I think it's probably still my best option. I can play. I can play three minions, right? I can play the Iraqi and then body block some stuff, like... Um, let's see, so the Iraqi goes here. Dispel this. Uh, I will attack it. Play a more. I'm not too worried about Holy Emulation. I've got a Blood Siren to hit them for a billion next turn, if that's a possibility. Um, if they have Iron Cliff Guardian, I can play Soul Grimoire and Mass Trade. If they have another Tempest, I guess that sucks. Okay, they don't. That's great. So, if they Immo, I guess they kill this. This ends up over there. We can... Okay, yeah. Right, of course, they're playing Max. I forgot. <laughs> they have Max in their deck. Um, I mean, this looks kind of good for the Grimoire, doesn't it? Let's see. I don't think more does much here. Primus Fist. That's a lot of damage. We can Blood Siren punch this, hit them for five. Kill this. I really want to play. Uh, let me think. I, I want to Grimoire this turn. Oh, is if this trades into this. I don't have an answer for the canon of Mechazor, so I don't have any removal. Um, but I guess I can just overwhelm them with plenty of other stuff to attack, right? The Iraqi's out of range anyway, they can kind of kite it for a while, so I'm, I shouldn't be too worried about it. So I think what I'm supposed to do is hit this. Come forward, and then I can either, I can attack this and then hit them for five, six, healing mystic. Or I can play, so I think, yeah, just playing, flooding the board is better. All right, so we'll go here. We'll healing mystic, Primus Fist, Blood Siren, Smash Face. Oh, I should have put this here behind the cannon, so it's harder for them to run away and body block. Um, this looks fine. Like, see how good right to the end vault is? I have five creatures in play, four creatures in play, and my, my opponent, me and my opponent basically have the same hand size. If they just play some stuff here, like Tempest, Tempest is awkward, but not that bad. Actually, Tempest is great for me because it kills this. Oh, well, that's good because I can, I guess I can punch the, how far are they on Mechazor right now? Sorry, I'm just like flipping around between different considerations. They might die here to Soul Grimoire. 
There are nine. I just realized they fixed the spelling on Solgrimoire, that's funny. Uh, oh, I have Lethal with Void Pulse. Two draw! You run out random crap. <laughs> you draw lots of cards with a cheap spell that draws lots of cards. And you run out more random crap and your opponent dies. Let's do that again. That was with some quite awkward draws and the turn 2 Tempest as well. On the play, probably don't need Repulsive Beast and Lure. Maybe I just mulligan both actually if I'm going first. What does Magma have that I really need to get rid of in the early turns? We can kill Rebirth minions. Um, eh, we'll risk it. Ooh, turn one Araki. To be honest, it probably gets natural selection. Maybe I should play this, because then they can't play two drop plus natural selection. Maybe that's too keen, I don't know. I mean, the whole point of this deck is to play Araki Headhunter. So I feel like I'm missing out by not playing it first. Let's replace the Primus Fist, because this is really good for hitting them in the face next turn, if that's where the game goes. That's also good. Alright, we'll go for an Araki. If they have natural selection, then sucks to be me. Um, but hopefully they don't. It's not a two-drop. Well, it is a two-drop, but it's not a... Natural selection. Oh my lord. I mean, this is fine. I have double throws. <laughs> oh my. Hmm. Hmm. Double headhunter. So good. Jeez. Right, what do, <laughs> where do I even go with this? Right, this is obviously going here. I'm going here, right? So I can shroud the Pujata. What's my best plan? So I can play I can play something here. There should probably be a shroud on this, right? Um, and then I can shroud this and kill it so they can't take the mana tile. I think that's that's correct, right? I should do this. Deny them the mana tile. Because if they have a mana tile plus Kujata, they can mechanism me next turn, which is obviously extremely bad. I guess if this trades into something, it just makes an egg, and I can kill the egg. But my other play is just running an Araki here, which is bad. Maybe I'm better off just spelling this. Two cards, and then they'll be able to play a 5-drop if they play... No, I should play this here, because it body blocks the Araki Headhunter. It's a bit awkward if they have um, Spirit Harvester, but at least this survives for a turn. Throw it. Oh, okay, here we go. Right to the end vault. Everything is fine. Um, we can run out cards, empty the hand, and then refill. Okay, I'm happy with that trade. Maybe they've got, um, maybe they're playing a weapon deck. They're going to add a Mantine Closet. Egg Morph, okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm more than happy with that. Now I can kill this Kujata. I can do a bunch of stuff here, actually. Even if Kujata runs away, I can still kill it with Shroud. Yeah, okay, I have to kill it with Shroud. Um, they're very low on cards as well, which is nice. So I think we play Araki Headhunter on the Mana Tile. Maybe I don't need to, actually. Repulsa. I could use the Repulsa to kill this for the sake of Tempo. Or I can Blood Siren and hit my opponent in the face. I think I'm more keen on that. I think I don't need to take the Monotile. I can leave it there for the, um, the right turn. Right, how do I want to position this? Do I play on Flash Mechanto? I don't think so. If they Flash Mechanto, they go back to having no cards. Uh, no cards, no board. And I have a right, so it's fine. 
So I can box them in, or I can put this here. I think boxing them in is better, right? I'll see, I'll, I'll attack them. So they, I, I, they died to a few things like Plasma Storm, Flash Mechanical, but like both of those leave my opponent with no creatures in play. Dancing Blades is pretty bad, actually. Natural Selection plus Minion isn't great for me, but not like the worst thing ever. And if they don't have anything good, well, I get to... Hey, look, nothing good. All right, that's going in the corner. And then I can more. So I guess I replace this. Oh! <laughs> that's disgusting. Uh, how do I position this? Here, I guess. Genuinely, that is foul. Right, now I need to play around Mechantle properly. Can I play around Mechantle properly? Can't really, can I? Put this here, or behind me? I guess behind me is better. I want to get it out of my hand. Um, let's put it here, because if they want to kill both of these, they have to move away from the Headhunter, so they can't attack it. So I can get more stats. I'm obviously going to attack them for a ton. Cool. So they're obviously dead next turn, but uh, War Beast. It's War Beast time. I guess the correct line for them is probably to put it here and kill this and then run away. Okay, that looks like neither of those things. I get. Oh, shit. Sure. I'm oh, sorry. I have a lot of volatile access. I didn't think of that. But I mean, well, I guess Spirit Harvester is brutal here as well. Kills all my minions. Hello. That's not a Spirit Harvester. There's the War Beast. Okay, cool. So they left this up. Oh, so they're just down on board. And these headhunters, I mean, that game could have gone a lot better for my opponent. Um, they had a nice opening, but I had the answer to it with the double dispel. And um, I also had, like, they didn't have Plasma Storm when they could have Plasma Stormed. Oh, it's Punch Manga, hi. Um, uh, double one drop's pretty good. Probably keep this, because the Punch might be playing, like, Swarm or something. Um, I know Poncho uses he him pronouns, so I will refer to him as such, uh, rather than using uh, they them pronouns for this game, by the way. It's not disrespect, I know him. <laughs> Alright, hand looks good. I guess he could be around like Breath of the Unborn, and I'd be a bit sad, but it's not a huge deal. Oh, that's a good Gloom Chaser positioning. Um, a bit greedy, but I like it. So, if I replace this looking for something with three toughness, that makes it a bit more efficient against the middle of the board here. Actually, that's a lie. I can replace them more. Nice. Gloom Chaser to call my own. Alright. I'll take this tile away from Poncho uh, and then play this in a safe spot. Which I guess has to be here or here. Oh, here's not bad, actually. But he'll be able to just take this tile anyway. So I think I'd rather contest this tile. Maybe that's a bit far back. Oh, that's a good draw. Unanswered Gloom, Gloom Chaser isn't bad, though. Like, this is an interesting position. I mean, the, the Wraith playing spawning forward is quite lucky, I guess. If it spawns at the back, it can't really do anything. Um... I guess it is pretty safe. There aren't too many things that can kill the 2-2 straight away. That wouldn't also be able to kill it if it was here. I guess most of the time, though, your opponent just takes the center, so it's probably not better than playing it diagonally. I'm interesting, in, interested in what his reasoning is. I guess it means the Wraithling can always reach the middle. So it can contest the central tile. And if he was over here, I'd be able to play my Blood Siren more aggressively. Ah, okay, he's playing. Makes sense. I need my Void Pulses. 
Um, so I guess he well, trades here, maybe goes face. Let me trade the Wraithling into this, it's interesting. Oh my lord. Burn Swarm. Okay. I mean, that's pretty good. It's a lot of damage. I have a healing mistake, at least. Um, I can clear a lot of things, right? I can avoid this for a couple turns. Go down. Well, I mm, can't avoid it if I want to hit stuff, which is concerning. He's got the central tile here. You play two minions. I guess the Night Sorrow is looking a bit awkward. Hmm. If I draw a three mana spell here, it looks very bad. So I can move down if I want, just to avoid getting hit in the face by this lot. Uh, but I think clearing off some minions is a good idea, because if he is playing Swarm Payoffs, this is obviously quite a dangerous early board. This feels pretty bad, but let's do it. Oh, that's good. I can just kill this. Um, okay, where am I actually positioning my stuff? I kind of want to hit this 1-1 one, one with my Blood Siren. Um, I could do that and then go here and hit this Gloom Chaser and play Healing Mystic behind me, maybe. I think this this is dying. That's that's happening. Um, that gives me a little safety. I can come over here, hit this. I think the, the best value I'm going to get out of this Blood Siren is letting it trade with two minions instead of one. And then we'll play a Healing Mystic in a safe spot. I guess I could put it here. It dies to Lure then, or the plus two attack weapon. I'll put it here. That's fine. There's no point healing this. I need to heal myself as much as possible. Okay. I will say my choice of interaction is not so good against Swarm, although I do have Grasp of Agony in my deck as well. Uh, so if I'd drawn Grasp of Agony there, it would have been pretty backbreaking. Like Grasp on this right thing is pretty good. Okay, so no Swarm payoffs immediately. Saber Spine. Okay, he's literally just playing Burn, I think. There's pro there might be a Soul Shadow Pact in there somewhere. I like this body block, but now I have the initiative, which is quite nice. I can actually Night Sorrow this. And I will. <laughs> um, it's a bit risky, like if he plays something that I actually need to kill. What even is there though? That dies to this, like Shadow Dancer doesn't die to it. Various artifacts obviously don't die to it. Black Solus doesn't die to it. It's only Blood Moon Priestess, really. Um, speaking of which, do I want this thing that he can kill, that I can buff next turn, or would I rather have this? I think I'd rather have this. I kind of want to attack here. The problem is that... So I don't have right to the Underworld or Void Pulse yet. If I hit him, and he's got Void Pulses, that's very bad for me. Um, he's got four cards in hand. Oh, wait a minute. He, he can attack this anyway. I should um, He can attack the Night Sorrow Assassin anyway. I should have played this. Oh. I think he, he has more burn than me, right? He's got Flame Bloods and stuff. I should not attack. Oh, that's bad. Right, I need my rights. I need my Void Pulses. I need my Grasp of Agony. Where are all my good cards in the matchup? Come on. More Healing Mystics wouldn't go and miss either, to be fair. Um... I mean, this isn't like the worst hand in the world. I guess if there's a Black Solus involved, Repulsor Beast is pretty good here. But he can do a lot with five mana. At least there's only one Gloom Chaser left, so his ability to go wide is somewhat curtailed. Oh, oh god. Okay. Not affecting the board though. Which means I can get a bunch of damage in. Oh, nice. All right, we'll take it. Right, I think we're gonna... If I play this Gloom's, uh, Gloom Chaser here and it prevents me from... Where can I play this to maximize Primus first value? Here is fine, I can body block with it. Cool. Alright, we're gonna... Absolutely wail, and then probably just run away. Like, I have the board lead here. Oh, this is awful against Grasp of Agony though. What have I done? 
<laughs> Maybe it's better to stay a little bit nearby just in case. I don't want to lose. I should do this. I don't want to go too far away. Oh, that's nice. Turn of not worrying about Grasp of Agony. Do I have a non grass play? That doesn't look like a Grasp of Agony, so that's good. It's a lure or something. Uh oh. He's got it. <laughs> oh, no. There it is. There it is. On the bright side, I got a ton of damage. Okay. There's the Void Pulse. Is he attacking? He's not attacking. That's the Night Sorrow Assassin. Time to shine, eh? Alright, give me... Hmm, well, I can play everything, at least. It's not the worst ever. And this plays around Grasp of Agony, so I can play, in, play uh, into Grasp of Agony a little bit. and be fine. Do I preserve this against him attacking it, or do I just get it as aggressively positioned as possible? I think the latter. I think we just try and surround our opponent here. What's the best positioning? Oh, I think I want to do what I want to do is the. Oh. What I'm trying to do is get the Primus Fist between Poncho and me, but also in a place where it buffs both of these, and I'm not sure that's actually possible. <clears throat> No, I think... Oh, actually, no, I can do something... I can do this. I almost outfoxed myself then and put the Night Sorrow Assassin with the Primus Fisters. That would have been a nightmare. Okay, Blood Sire and Grasp of Agony is nice. There's two good options for smashing the face. Punch only has one grasp left. On the bright side of not having drawn right to the Undervolt is I'm pretty protected against Dark Seed. Although, this also protects me against Dark Seed. <clears throat> there are two left in the deck, so I'm not totally unlikely to hit one off of drawing a right. Off of casting a right. This looks pretty good, though. It's in a decent position. He's got one Saber Spine Tiger left, I think. Um. Two Dark Seed, presumably. Two Flame Blood Warlock, but Flame Blood is really bad here. There's a lure. <laughs> it doesn't even kill it. <laughs> That's funny. Shroud, dispelling nothing. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, we have Blood Sire in here. I don't know if I'm brave enough to attack with my face, though. Give me Undervolt. Oh! <laughs> Doing a surprising amount of work here. Um, so I can surround my opponent and just put myself in a safe place, I think, is the better play, right? Like, we just surround, play Blood Siren, hit the face, move this in, back up. He can grasp this and kill these two, but... He goes to four. I can still come back in and hit him in that case. So the only way he can escape is with lure on this. Or, well, demonic lure in general, I guess. I mean, this is not bad for... The game's not over yet, obviously. Like, he's still got two void pulses left. Um, there's still a grasp. Like, grasp plus lure on this isn't bad. He could play it on right to the end of all. He has so much mana that it would be quite good. Uh, to just, you know, be able to empty the hand enough to, like, draw two more at the end of turn. I will say these Repulsive Beasts have been rubbish. <laughs> this is not the matchup for them, and I do keep drawing them. But we're doing right. Oh, no! That's a real card. That's a, that's a good finisher. Void Pulse, we... do not have Lethal... How can I win this game now? Do I have anything that does three out of hand? A Primus Fist would be pretty good. Primus Fist would be lethal, but I may have played them all already. 
Actually, this is a place where the, the uh, Repulsor Beast might be quite good, because I can whip this out of the way. You can still demonic lure stuff into it, though. I think this is doing nothing. Hmm. Spells. That's not bad, that's not bad. That's really not bad. Okay, so I think that's what we've got to do. We've got to whip this out of the way and then block my opponent as much as possible. Um, so this attacks in. I'm going to whip this into the far corner and then run away from it myself. Oh, I mispositioned. I, put the, I should have put the Primus Fist here. I'll put this here and then move this up. Attack, attack. Run away from the huge thing. Please don't breath of... Oh no, breath of the unborn doesn't work. Grasp of agony doesn't work. There's a right. Um, Dark Thief doesn't work. And I only have two cards anyway. Demonic Lord doesn't do that much. That's a lie. Demonic Lord's pretty good. Uh... If he has Demonic Lure plus like Saberspine Tiger or Flame Blood, he can whip something into the Revenant, hit it, and then kill me. Okay, that's none of those things. That continues to be none of those things. Oh god. Oh, wait, it doesn't damage me. It's not that bad. Have your general. Okay, that's kind of all his cards. What is. Let me read the spectral thingy. Whenever your general destroys a minion, heal for two. It's pretty good, eh? I've got here more. More this. Um, Alright, let's draw a million cards and see what we get. Hopefully something that wins the game. Does that work through artifacts? How does that work? Does this kill him? Oh, wait, I can't get rid of this very easily. I wouldn't have lethal even if... Oh no, I can. I've got a Repulsor Beast. This can reach this. So I actually need this to be out of the way. Um, right, we have to play carefully here. Alright, this goes over there. We're going to move like this. So the Revenant can't reach anything. Um, we're going to play the Blood Siren. Oh my god, it does work like that. Oh, that's so sick. I've not got a single Void Pulse and it's making me sad. If Void Pulse at any point, I might lose now. Although he's only got two cards, so it's a little tricky. I don't need this, he's on one life. Like, I think he, there you are, damn it. I think he dies with the trigger on this. Oh wait, I destroyed the artifacts anyway, of course. Wow, this card! Holy moly, Blood Siren! That's so sick. You can grasp plus lure. Nope. We got there. Oh my god. That was a tense one. Holy moly. Yes, I will tip Ponder. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh! That was a good match. We'll play Ponder. We'll play it. Right. I think that's a good conclusion to this particular video so i will wrap this up and i'll see you next time with uh let's say some magma artifact deck catch you in a bit